Hi everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles, and I'm back. I have a new, I actually have a new tutorial, a new video for you today. It's been a few days, so we're doing another one-page wonder, and I'm really excited to share it with you. I do promise I'm going to do a video that gives you the rundown on how I did at my craft fair. We had a great day yesterday. I just have to kind of assess and regroup a little bit and then I can give you guys all the details so that's coming soon hopefully maybe tomorrow so anyway I know a lot of you've asked so thank you and thank you for all your support so today I am using some beautiful papers by Cherith Arts and this is a new friend of mine that I've made and Cherith is very generous and has a great coupon code for us if you decide you want any of her papers and I'll have that listed and linked for you below. This is her minimal, minimalist Christmas background papers. Look at this. And... Then I'm also using her printable Christmas cards that have all these super cute little animal images. So I'll show you a few of the papers. But this is this one page wonder, wonder is similar to one that I made actually with one of my paper kits with Santa and Friends. And that it flips down this way, but it has a different closure. And it has this flip out um, and pockets. So, you know, it's different. And it's a one page wonder that we're using an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock and then using Cherith's papers to, to decorate. So I hope you guys like it as much as I do. I also use some words from one of my kits, some just kind of Christmas words, but you can skip those or handwrite them or use whatever you have, you know? There's lots of, lots of things out there. So uh, this one, I did make a belly band. I like a lot of times to close my belly bands with that one of those little skinny Velcros just because I find it easier than trying to slip it on and off if I glue it. But you certainly could glue your belly band if you wanted to. All right. So again, I'll have everything linked below for you. If you want to see some of the supplies that I've used, you can go to my Amazon storefront. Not everything I use is there, but a lot of my crafting, favorite crafting supplies are there. It's an affiliate link. So Amazon pays me a few pennies if you make a purchase at no cost to you. Uh, and then I'll have Cherith's Etsy links ready to go for you as well. And all the measurements. So let's get started. Let's just jump right in. So the first, oh wait, let me show you just real quick. So here's some of those background papers. And this kit is set up similarly to some of her others where you get the papers that just print like this and they're beautiful. But she also gives you the tiles. So if you want to use Photoshop or free Canva or something like that and make your own paper out of them, you can. So you can kind of adjust how how the images print and everything. If if you know how to make digital paper more digital paper, that'll make sense to you. She does give some instructions on how to do it on, on her Etsy shop. And I love to play with them that way. But this is just how they print out in the kit. This isn't all of them, but aren't they beautiful? And then the printable Christmas card kit, they are gorgeous. And you can print these fun animals look. Um, like I have with no sentiment. Um, or you can print them with Merry Christmas. Um, on the front and if you print them just like this cut them out fold them in half precious Christmas card there you go so easy I am obviously using them a little bit differently in this project today but I just wanted to show you some of them they're so cute I printed them at regular size and then I also printed quite a few these are a five by seven size because I like some of the big ones for my one page wonder we're making and then I like some of the little ones. So anyway, we'll just decide and play play with that as we go. Look at this owl. Is he not stinking cute? Anyway, love them. And I did print some that said Merry Christmas out as well um, to make some cards later. So we'll probably do some more projects with these papers because I am loving them. Let me know what you guys think too. All right, but to make our one page wonder today, the first thing we're gonna need is a piece of cardstock. And I am just using a white cardstock. So this is my everyday cardstock that I also print my digitals on. And it's in my Amazon storefront, but it's just Nina brand 90 pound cardstock. So it's not super thick, but we're doing lots of layering and it's perfect, I think, for this project. So you cut your eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper on the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter. You just cut it in half and you get a piece like this. So this is gonna be the base of our little folio. 
And then you take the piece that's left, that's eight and a quarter by 11, and cut it to eight inches long. So cut it off. And then you're going to cut a strip that measures two and three quarters by eight. Okay, so you've cut it at eight, now you do two and three quarters. And then that leaves you a strip that is one and a half by eight. This is gonna become the belly band. There's another little piece of white cardstock left that we're not gonna use, but you can use it for something else, so no problem. All right, now let's do, we don't have a lot of scoring, we have a little bit of scoring. So I'm gonna use my scoreboard. If you don't have a scoreboard, just grab your ruler and some type of tool to score with, okay? On the 11 inch side, the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna score at one and three quarter inches. Then we are gonna score at two inches, five inches, and eight inches. Again, I'll have all the measurements for you guys in the description of the video. This little teeny piece here ends up being kind of the, the this this hinge, or it's not a hinge, but just kind of where you, it gives you a lot, plenty of room to grow your little folio and add layers and add things to it. Okay, set that aside. And then your piece that measures two and three quarters by eight inches, you could just fold it in half or you can score it at four inches because we're just gonna be folding this one in half. And then your belly band. You don't have to score your belly band. You can, when you're ready, just grab it and wrap it around. That works. If you want to score it, I'm gonna show you the score marks and it works both ways. So, you know, whichever you wanna do. So for the belly band, we are gonna score it at two and a half, two and three quarters, and then we're gonna score it at five and seven eighths. And on my board, that's the mark right before six inches, right? Five and seven eighths. Again, if that seven eighths scares you, just wrap it around when you're done and it will work, <laughs> okay? This gives it a little bit crisper look probably. This is not gonna be a hard one. It's gonna be fun. Really the time we're gonna spend is just layering the papers and decorating it and chatting. So it's gonna be a great day. All right. I always try to be careful and I'm checking my scores. I don't wanna, I, when I fold this, I do not want this to go over that score line. So if I have to wiggle it, wiggle it just a little, I will. Same thing, we're gonna fold up and I don't wanna go over the first score line. So if I have to wiggle it just a touch, it will be fine. And it will now fold up nicely in there. Now, we also have that first little score that you need to just be here. I know it was hard to see because none of this is inked or anything, but you've made a little a little edge like that. All I did was fold where I scored it and just made sure everything was folding up nicely. Cute, right? Now you can do this, an orientation this way with your in your belly band, you know, if you want to orientate your papers that way. Or you can do it like I've been doing it. And isn't that how I did it? Yeah. No, I ordered, I, I did mine this way. See the ornament? So you can do it vertically or horizontally. That's up to you. I'm going to stay with this orientation because I've already pre-cut my papers. And you just want to think about the direction of your pattern paper if you decide you want to switch orientation. All right. I'm not going to futz with the belly band just yet. This is our inside piece. And again, it's eight inches and we just fold it in half. And then, and I, I scored mine at four inches, but there we go. So the first thing we'll do is we're going to attach the flip out. And I did mine where it flipped this way. 
if you want yours to flip this way, you could do that. You decide. <laughs> I did a thumb notch because on my flip out, I did a pocket here and a pocket here. And so I think it works best before I do my notch or glue this down is I'm gonna grab the papers that I chose to layer my folio with and, the, and do the thumb notch one time so I don't have to try to line it all up. It'll make sense in just a second. So these are all the different layering papers we're gonna need. I'm gonna give you the, the dimensions as I go, but they will also be in the description. So the panels that we're gonna need to cover all of these, these sections here, they measure four inches by two and three quarter inches, and you're gonna need five of those. It'll be in the description. For these panels that are the flip out, we need papers that measure two and a half, two and a half by three and three quarters, and you'll need three of those. So that's the piece I'm going to grab right now, one of those. And it's these cute little kids dressed up in their winter winter garb. I did the stockings for the other panels. You can use as many different patterns as you want. I picked two of the papers, but they all coordinate really well together. And so don't feel like you have to only use two or only use one. Um, mix and match it as much as you want. This is the one I'm gonna put on this panel. And I'm turning this whole piece into a pocket. So I'm just holding this where it's centered on this panel. And I made the decision when I made the first one not to ink edges, and I'm not inking this one either. You certainly can, and if I was inking, you'd be able to see some of these things a little better. All right, grab a circle punch. I grabbed my one and three quarters. Grab whatever size you want, and I'm just going to make a notch. And see what I mean about lining it up? Because now when I glue this down, I'm gonna just glue this whole piece to this panel and this will be the pocket. I didn't wanna punch my notch, glue it down, and then try to have to punch a notch and make this match up. Now everything matches perfectly. Okay, so let's set that aside. Let's go ahead and attach our flip to this panel. And it's not the, the, the one at the bottom, but the next one up. This is going to become my pocket. So I need glue on these three sides. And I am just using my wet white glue. This is Line Co brand PVA glue. Put in these cute little dispenser bottles. It is help. I think it's easier for me to be precise, right, with the, the little tips, and it's easier on my hands to hold. You can buy this in different sizes. You can buy smaller bottles. You can buy huge jugs of it. And this is the brand Line Co. PVA glue, and I think it's a little more cost-effective then my other favorite art glitter glue, which I use as well. So you decide, you can pick out your glues. I kind of use them for different things. All right, now we'll go ahead, since I did punch that out, and I'm just gonna add glue all over this piece, because this is just a layering piece. It doesn't actually become the pocket. Okay, lovely very cute and then these pieces I'm this one is going to become a pocket I have to decide I think they're the same <laughs> I don't know how that happened in the pattern but that's what happened so I'm going to again grab I'll grab the same size circle punch and I'm just gonna make a little notch I didn't cut his head off so that's good now this piece will be the pocket and I'm gonna hold it by the side I wanna keep open and then just add the glue to the three sides. 
All right, and then we're gonna, again, maybe add some words, add some little animals to our little cute children friends, and it's gonna look great. This one I didn't make into a pocket. You can if you want to. I'm just gonna layer the paper down. I'm gonna make it the way I did my prototype, but I hope you see with all these kind of little folios that I show you guys how to make, you, you can add different shape pockets, you can add additional pockets, layered, you know, there's so many ways to decorate these. So be creative, let your imagination run wild. My glue is starting to act funny for some reason. I put the lid back on this one. It's probably because I leave lids off of them. I have multiples because <laughs> I always can't get my hand on the one that I want. All right. I like to, before I start gluing down the rest of the panels, I like to look and see what my front's gonna look like because then I can pick the piece that I think is the right piece for the front. So the, the layering pieces for this flap, let me give you those measurements. They're four inches by one and a half. And it's just gonna go on just like that. So I know that's one of the pieces, so let's lay that down. And guys, I'm afraid I might be getting a cold. I hope I'm not, but I don't know if my voice sounds a little raspy. This morning when I first got up, it was like, oh, I was around so many people yesterday and I was like, please, I don't wanna be sick. But now I'm feeling better. So hopefully it was just, I don't know that I was tired. All right, and then let's add this piece to this side of the flap. I decided to put this one on the inside because the stockings are cut off just a little bit. I don't know. They are here too. Oh, well. <laughs> I could have looked at the pattern and paid a little more attention when I cut these papers, but that's okay. All right, now this piece, see, is going to flap over. And again, I can always add a little animal or we can cut out one of the other pieces if we want to, but it may be that I wanna save, you know, I just I just kinda wanna look and see what look do I like? What, what do I think looks best? That's kind of fun, because then I get two layers of stockings. Let's do that. <laughs> and you can play with yours and use whatever papers you have. You know, if you like this kit, go check it out. But if you have other papers, if you don't even wanna make it Christmas themed, go for it, make it any themed paper you want. If you're watching this down the road and it's not Christmas time, then use flowers, use plants, use vintage images, whatever it is you like. Um, you could make it Valentine's Day, right? Anything you want. You can make it as a little birthday card. All right, we're gonna open this up. And again, I'm not gonna overthink the papers. They're, they're from the same sheet and they're very similar. Again, the great news is you just need five same size and you can just start laying them down. And sometimes I do spend time, you know, really looking at the patterns being like, which one do I want in which section? And regardless of what I end up deciding, it always ends up looking great. So I don't think it really mattered in the end. All right. And especially, I know I'm gonna put a top load pocket right here, a, a more shallow one than like these big pockets. And put this here. Right, so I know I'm gonna do that, and I know I'm gonna put some of these cute little animals, so some of this is gonna get covered up anyway. And again, just as a reminder, if you want to install any of these layering pieces as pockets, you could easily do that. You could have them side load. If you top load, you have to be careful you know how much is in there. If you decide to side load, you could have some fun fuzzies hanging out, uh, like ribbons or tabs or things like that. All right, and I think the last piece is at the back, and I'm always really careful to make sure I don't put it on upside down. So I, I flip it around, and this is, it, it, it looks upside down with these, but because it's the back, it will be the correct orientation. I'll show you in one second. And if your paper 
is a pattern like a plaid or a polka dot or that just doesn't have directionality it doesn't matter but you do have to pay a little more attention if you don't want things to be upside down all right so we're going to fold this up and see when we flip it over they're the correct way all right now let's do our belly band next again you have that little what is that a gusset I always I always forget what words I'm supposed to use with some of these things that little section that's going to wrap right here okay and then this one I just folded up so if you didn't if you chose not to score yours <laughs> Again, you can just wrap it around and it'll be fine. I'm going to wrap mine this way because I am going to use the Velcro on mine. If you want to make yours just a slip aside, you could put the seam in the back. You can fold it a little bit looser if, if you want to. All of that's up to you. Before I add my, my Velcro or anything, though, I'm going to layer some papers. So... Again, I'll have the measurements in the description, but this is a one and a quarter inch strip, and I ended up just cutting it into the three pieces that I need. For the back section, you need one that's two and three quarters tall. For that little front tab, it's two and one quarter, and the little inside one is one and three quarter inches. So, again, I'm getting my white paper dirty. Pay attention to which panel is which <laughs> and get them and especially because these are like little kids I don't want them upside down so I know this piece goes right here so I'll glue it down first if you choose a pattern you don't have to worry about your children ending up upside down or your stockings and just layers in there and then this one layers right here it's a little short you probably I made this one one and three quarters you could probably go a smidge taller not a big deal if you don't I'm just going to bring mine sort of to the bottom you don't see that anyway it goes like that all right and again flip it over so that you know you're putting the back piece on in the right direction here we go. And we haven't even added any extras yet, and I think it already looks fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, so this is the front. It's gonna come like this and like this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put a Velcro dot on because I may also want to put a little bow or a little ribbon like I did on this one. I thought with that ornament, didn't that turn out so cute? Okay, Velcro dots. And I show you guys these all the time because I love them. I use them so much. You get 56 circles. They're three and an eighth inch wide, but they're super skinny. And that's what I love. This is like, that's four layers. So, Anyway, if you're interested, those are the ones I use. There's lots of them out there that you can look at. I find this is uh, the right thickness Ooh, for me. The right thickness. Okay. I don't mind things getting bulky, but I, I tend to like the bulk <laughs> to come from, you know, my, my layers for my paper and, and cute tags and cards put inside of my journals and folios not necessarily from the velcro so a tiny bit of thickness but not much now i do not close this super tight i just line it all up because i don't want it to to i don't know bend or not fit once i add more things to the inside all right, it's going to close like that. So sweet. Now, let me put these back in. I'm just using, just using one today. I do think I want a bow or something here. I just used this Baker's Twine that's white with silver running through it for this one. What I'm trying to think of is it almost needs something right here. So, 
let me look. Maybe we'll decorate the front of the belly band at the end because once I start chopping up some of the pages for the animals, this one I fussy, I did a fussy cut of a, the deer to put on that pattern paper. I may have some a little piece of something that we can put right here or a little ornament that I can cut out from one of the papers. So we're gonna wait on finishing the belly band. Open it up. This panel, I didn't decorate on the first one because of the belly band, and I don't think I'm going to on this one either. So I'm going to open it up, and this is kind of the first one that I see. So I'm going to decide what I want to do. So I'll get some of the animals that I have out prepped. There's so many. There's hedgehogs and foxes and lots of birds, mice, bears. Look, there's a hedgehog. It's so so cute. So. You have that, and then I also just have some little pieces from, from the kit. Like I said, we might punch something out or add something to that belly band here in a minute. So this is printed at standard size. So you see it's a little bit large or a little bit big for our panels, but I can fussy cut, I can use my one of my circle punches, and we can get some fun images from these. So, let me think of which one I wanna do. I think I wanna use this bird, and I'm gonna go to my two inch punch. And because of the reach of the punch, I'm just gonna trim a little piece off, and then I can get that bird where I want her in the circle. Decided she's a lady. There we go. And that wasn't the cleanest of punches, so I'm just gonna trim that off. And I'm gonna put her there. And then I have some of the words. This is from my uh, Santa and Friends kit. Like I said, you use whatever words that you have or that you want to use. And I'm going to pick for this panel, I know I'm gonna end up using Peace. But let's also cut out Tis the Season and Noel, and we can decide as we go. And I'm using these primarily because I already had them printed and at my fingertips. But a lot of times, as you guys know, I love to use my handwriting. So I'll just get a strip of paper and write whatever I want. It's just I'm thinking of you or, you know, a quote, whatever we want. All right, set that one aside. We'll set this one aside. So it is Thanksgiving coming up this week and I am not ready to slow down on my Christmas crafting. I'm having fun and I am still trying to decide. I have a few, a few things that I still need some like gifts and little favors for. So like I said, I have an idea that I'll probably make a few more projects using these papers and, and some other things. So stay tuned, lots more to come for this holiday crafting season. And I'll try to mix in some non-Christmas tutorials here, here and there as well for those of you that wanna build up your stash with other things or kind of have finished your holiday crafting. Okay. We did that one. This is the panel that I like to put that narrow pocket on. And I'm sitting here thinking that I can use a strip from the bird and it'll bring some of those colors up. So I'm going to cut a strip. I don't even know if I'm on camera. Let's cut a strip that's one and a quarter inches. And then it needs to be... Think it just needs to be four inches. So which end do I want to take it from? I'm going to take it from this end. Okay. I didn't cut straight. I didn't hold my paper very still. There we go. All right. And I'm just going to put it right here. So it starts to bring in the colors from the Christmas card kit as well. And I like that. So mix them up. All right. 
So yeah, I, I mentioned a coupon code. Cherith, she said she's never done this before, but she's just doing it for you guys, my viewers. Yay, so exciting. And it's 65% off when you buy three or more kits. So I think some of you took advantage of that last time I shared it. And I hope more of you will because what a fun deal during the holidays. I don't know how long she'll keep that coupon code active. So, you know, go grab it while you can. I'll have to ask her, you know, if she wants to do something different or if she's happy with that. I don't know that she'll be able to offer 65% all the time. So... We'll have to ask. But anyway, we'll see. <clears throat> and it's, I think it's Silver Sparkle 65. I'll double check, but it'll be linked. Or I'll list it in the description for you. Okay. We could put a word up there too, but I'm kind of liking the stockings just like that there. Okay. Now we open up. <clears throat> we have this panel, this panel, and then we have these two pockets. So... What I did with the original is I used some of the larger ones and just folded and got them down to a size that would fit in the pockets. But I, I hadn't printed the small ones yet, but I'm realizing the small ones fit in here so cutely. I love that bird. I may want to put that bird's ones. Oh wait, there's a raccoon. Okay, the raccoon's going in here. I'm, I'm definitely gonna do something to this pocket. Oh, look at the little deer. Look at the little deer. And because we have a lot of the same ones, you know, if we want to, we can also cover it up. Like I said, I cut a similar deer out for that one and placed it on the paper. And so what I might do, let's do a finger tear and see how that looks. I'm kind of wanting to save, that looks like a Charlie Brown Christmas tree, doesn't it? It's just got those sweet little ornaments on the, Little tree, winter tree. All right. So I could cover up two of the kids and we could have a little deer join them or we could put them right here. Where do we want to put them? If I put them here, I can kind of move him over just a touch. Why don't we do this? I'm going to glue it down as a little side tuck. Why not? <laughs> And then we'll make something to go in it, just because I like sometimes being a little extra, even when it's not necessary, but why not have an extra little tuck spot? There we go. Why not? Because we can. Now we'll have to make something tiny to go in there. So what we may need to do is grab one, like one of these papers and make something sweet to go in there. I think this would be a good size. So I'm gonna fold that over. Here I am, and now I'm winging it, y'all. I'm just winging it. I'm gonna turn that into a tag. So I'm gonna flip this over so it has a little bit of thickness. And especially since all I'm doing is gonna put some of the little ones down in these two pockets. This one I might have to trim off just a little. This pocket has more real estate, and I think you guys can remember why. It would be because we made the pocket out of the flip page and then layered the pretty paper on top. And the pretty paper is a bit smaller than the cardstock was. So when I glued around the edges to make this pocket, right, we, we took up a little bit of our real estate. <laughs> But not, not to worry, because it fits right in there. So cute. All right, now back to this one. What do I want to do? I think <laughs> I think we are going to cut this little stinky cute owl out. Because I kind of just want to snuggle. I know owls probably don't want to snuggle with me. But this one's so cute. It looks like a fluffy baby owl that we're going to put right there. And he's going to live in this little pocket. Look at that. Okay. And let's go back to our words and see is there something, you know, we could be funny and put ho, ho, ho with him. <laughs> he's like channeling Santa. All right. It doesn't take much to entertain me if you guys haven't figured that out. 
I think I've told you guys too. I just love, I love this whole season of the year. It reminds me a lot of my mother. She loved Christmas. We had, she would have multiple Christmas trees. We had one that was decorated, like the family Christmas tree with like all the ornaments my brother and I made when we were kids and just sentimental, mishmash, just beautiful tree. And then, but she also liked more designer trees. So she would have an angel tree and she would have a tree that just had she did one with cats one year she loves cats and anyway she did all kinds of different themed trees and they were beautiful too in their own way right all different we need to put a friend here and I since I have one circle I kind of want another circle but maybe we'll put the circle here and put something different here so see this owl's really cute too I just dropped one of my friends and I don't know where it went. All right, that's okay. We have enough cut out. All right, let me see. I'm thinking he may be he may be short enough that if I just sort of cut him out, I can stick him on that panel. I kind of want to not lose his little wispy, wispy feathers. Let's see, he may be too tall. Because we don't want him to get folded up in that crease, you know. Let me see if I can bring it in. Give him a hair, a haircut. Mm -hmm. Very cute. Very cute. Where does he look the best? I'm going to put him here. We have two owls, but that's okay because they're making me happy. And I love just a standard Christmas card. You know, what? what's a standard Christmas card, right? But like, you know, one that just opens up and has some pretty images and maybe some little bows and glitter or whatever, right? A Christmas card. But I love using these in lieu of Christmas cards. <laughs> I just think it's so fun for whoever gets it. And they have like all these little things I can look at, even if they're not into junk journaling or this type of paper crafting, it's such a sweet gift. So anyway, I challenge you guys to think about that and decide if that's something um, that, that you like too. I think what I'm gonna do, even though it's gonna cover up some of our sweet little kids, is I'm gonna make where we could write a sentiment. We, we could, you know, say Merry Christmas, uh, love Pam, whatever, on on the panel, just to make it different. And maybe I'll do a tear, since I have a tear here. I'll use the ruler for the tear, but maybe a hand tear for the bottom or the top. I'm gonna kinda get the, the sides about the width that I want it. Yeah, and then let's do this so it sort of mirrors the hand tear that I did on the deer. And if I feel like I need to do it on the sides, we'll do that too. It needs to be a little more narrow because of that thumb notch I put in. So this is a wonderful thing about tearing paper. <laughs> if you don't tear too much, you can always tear a little more. Okay. And I'll do the sides, just get it. A little, just a little place. Not like I'm gonna write like a whole letter or anything. And this could also be, if you end up using this in a journal, it could just be a little journaling spot, just a tiny one. And if you want to, th these tones would definitely be pretty with a, a light coffee or tea dyed paper here instead of the white. But I have the white on hand, so we're gonna use it. And I could have, let's see, if this stuck down. I'm going to scooch it over because I've got that little girl there. Now this may be sticky, but once it dries, it'll be okay. All right. So cute. I put little cards in here. I've got a card there. Should I put Noel here with this owl? Oh, why not? All right. And again, if you want to ink, go for it. This would look cute inked too. I don't know, for some reason, I was thinking with the white, I was just going to leave mine hopefully clean if I don't mess it up too much. That's where my notes. Okay, this is what I was trying to pick up. 
do I want anything? I think I'm gonna just leave that just plain so I can write whatever I want with whoever I end up giving this to. We haven't decorated here yet. So, you know, just to keep the word theme going, because why not? Let's do Merry and Bright. And then we will finish up that belly band and we'll be done. So if you guys like the video, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Tell me if you're going to make one. Let me know how your Christmas crafting is going. If there's anything in particular that you definitely want to see coming up as I'm planning my next little set of videos. And if you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and coming back and, and visiting with me. I also love when you guys go back and watch some of my older videos. Uh, there's lots of content there and I get a lot of requests, which is great and I don't mind kind of redoing things or updating things, but a lot of the things people are asking for are in my archives, so go take a peek if you have a few minutes. All right, we have lots of options now. Oh, I wish I had used that red bird. I'll use it in the next one. I'm gonna make more of these. So I have some of these different scraps and I'm just thinking, and what's really making me think is I think I want one of these ornaments and I'm trying to decide, am I gonna fussy cut it or just punch it? I think I'm gonna just do a real easy cut around it so that I get the, well, I guess the thread that it's supposed to be hanging by, right? Ah, came a little close to the ornament there. All right, I'm gonna hang it right there because I can. <laughs> okay. Right, and then maybe a little, a little bow. Do we need a little bow? Like I did on the other one. I did a double on this one. I think this one, because it's it's the same ornament <laughs> that I ended up using, but it's in a little different spot and quite delicate. So I think I'm just gonna do a single thread, not double it up. Maybe leave the tails a little bit longer on this one. Can always chop them off later if I don't like them long. And I'm just going to use a drop of my glue, and as long as I don't mess with it and I give it time to dry, it's going to be just fine. So I'll hold it down with my finger for just a moment. Get this out of the way, and I will show you guys what we made. You have to tell me which one did you like one better than the other. <laughs> and if you like these papers, like I said, let me know because I think they're so pretty. Okay. Ugh. All right, so this was the original. I'm gonna close it up while I give that bow one more second. I'm just gonna be careful with it and not, not upset it, but it's off-centered, but I like that. Okay, so we'll open it up. Be careful with my bow, I'm gonna set it there. And then it flips open like this. We have a fox, a bird, an owl, merry and bright little children. And then it opens up. <laughs> I'm glad we added this extra little tuck spot. How cute. We have our cute raccoon friend. And these we could decorate up too. So just because I didn't take the time to do that on the video, you know, you could add greetings. You could use the ones that say Merry Christmas if you wanted to. Lots of choices. Okay. And now we and we can write write some journaling or a message to someone. I'm thrilled. I hope you guys are too. I hope you'll make one. Let me know. Until next time, have a great day.